Traders, we've got a special video for you today because we are talking about the magnet tools and the recent updates that have come to these tools, especially the snap to indicators feature, which means you can effectively utilize the weak or strong magnet, have your snap to indicators button toggled on. Then you can use any of the drawing tools that you love. And when you take those drawing tools to the chart, check it out, it snaps to that indicator. Click, then move your mouse as needed for that specific drawing tool. When you're ready, click again to set it. And the most beautiful thing about this, as you can see here, is it's literally perfectly snapped right there to the indicator because we've toggled on the new feature, snapped indicators. Now, to get really detailed about this tool, it's important for many of you to understand how this tool works and what it means. Now, the magnet tool is your way, an effective way to essentially snap any of your drawing tools or even your mouse to the nearest open, high, low, or close. Now, if you have the weak magnet tool turned on, you'll see here the gravitational pull of your mouse to the nearest open, high, low, and close isn't really all that strong. Also, if you have a drawing tool selected, like a trend line, you'll see that it's sort of, you know, it's, it's definitely mag it's you know you can feel the magnet pull to these open high lower and close levels but it's not so strong now if i turn on strong mag magnet watch the difference you can see here no matter where my mouse is watch the crosshairs it is snapping to the open high lower close so it's really about freedom and just how often you want to be connected to the open high low and close on your chart if you only want that connection to happen when you're near each specific open high lower close well, use weak magnet. So not connected, but as I get closer, it connects. Strong magnet means, hey, your mouse and where you're clicking is just about always going to be snapped or connected via magnet to that nearest open, high, low, and close. Now, in the world of trend line tools, that's really effective because if you wanted to draw a trend line, well, do you want to draw a trend line just randomly? So if you don't have the magnet tool selected, I click trend line, I make a trend line, you know, that was pretty arbitrary. There's no real, I'm not sure, is it connecting to the open, high, lower, close, the candles, the wicks? There's no real sort of, um, you know, uh, uh, really serious, consistent process here. You can kind of see it's barely connecting in some instances more than others, but there's no consistency. So what you can do when you add drawing tools to your chart is utilize the magnet mode tool. So I'm going to click strong magnet. Now I'm going to go to trend line. Now I'm going to find where I think the trend begins, which is literally this low here. Look at the wick right there. Click, move my mouse. Look at the trend line tool just being magnetized to each critical level here. And I'm going to actually find a point right there. Click. Now, as you can see here, the consistency is really on point. I've made a trend line that's connecting the wicks here. See this? So you can see the wicks are connected. Now, the beautiful aspect about this, by the way, is you don't even have to continue drawing the trend line. You can double click, go to style, extend it to the right. And now you've got this trend line that is effectively connecting the lowest levels of each candlestick on this chart and then extending out into the future. And you can plan accordingly. Check it out. Here's your chart. You can plan as needed. Now, let me back up for one more second here and remind you that this is a chart of gold futures and I'm on a daily chart. As you know, candlesticks show you the open, high, low, and close. So if I really zoom in here, let me make sure I auto this. This is a candlestick. You can see up here the open, high, low, close, O-H-L-C. If you ever see O-H-L-C around trading view, it means open, high, low, close. So you know right away that on this candlestick, the open was 3,052. That's going to be up here. The high was 3,055. That's the wick up here, the part that has no shaded area. The low was 3,004. So it's going to be way down here, 3,004. And the close was 3,021. Now, you also, of course, know that the close was below the open because it's red. So if it's red, that means the open had to be up here and the close had to be up here. Well, do keep in mind that depends on which setting you have as well, whether you're coloring your bars based on the previous close or the daily candle. Hey, that's for a whole nother video. We've got that information on our YouTube channel and in our help center. But the whole point is that this is how you can identify the open, high, low, and close on a candle 
stick. And this is where the magnet tool is really effective and quite powerful and the all new snap to indicators. Now I have shown you this capability to draw trend lines using the magnet tool. Please do remember this applies to every drawing tool that you wish to look into. But now it's important to show you how this works for indicators and just all the different ways you can think about this. Now I'm going to go ahead and this time add Bollinger Bands to my specific chart of gold here. So I want to double click here to make sure I got my settings accurate. A length of 20. Why don't we expand this to a length of 50? So it's going to be 50 days. Simple moving average and standard deviation is 2. Well, that's rather interesting because now we have this 50 day moving average and each band is a standard deviation. Top of this is two standard deviations from our average and then two standard deviations below from our average. Well, why does the magnet tool with the all new snap to indicators matter so much on this feature? First of all, please do make sure that when you get started with this tool that you can see it's highlighted blue. If it's not highlighted blue, you don't have it selected. So click highlighted blue. Then when you expand the menu to decide whether you want the weak magnet or strong magnet, you can effectively pair your weak or strong magnet with the snap to indicators feature. So it's up to you. I'm actually going to use weak magnet for this part of the demonstration. And by the way, you can always tell if your snap to indicators feature is on depending on if this is toggled gray or dark or kind of white and bright. So in this case, it's on, it's white and it's bright. In this case, it's off, it's dark and it's gray. I'm going to click to turn it on. So now I'm snapping all of my drawing tools, not only to the open, high, low and close, but with weak magnet to my indicators. So what I'm going to do is I want to do some analysis. How far away is the price of gold from this lower band? I click price range. Now look how cool this is. As I move my mouse, it's not a freehand drawing. It's actually snapping to this specific indicator that's on the chart. Now, if I turn this off, you can just kind of see here, my mouse is just following my, my movement with my mouse, it's just freehand. Click this, make sure this is toggled on, it remembered. And now look at this, it's snapping. So now that I can see it's perfectly connected, I'm gonna click. Now I know my starting point is ultra precise. That's another beautiful thing about this feature. The precision is so critical. There are traders all over the planet who, for example, might just sort of look, okay, they click their necessary drawing tool. They think they're clicking it perfectly. Then they click again. Are they really? There's actually a small difference there. And by the way, as we know in markets, every single move matters. Every cent matters. So having the ultimate precision is something to really consider in all of your analytical processes. So here we go. Let's make sure we toggle this on again. We're going to click this price range tool because what we're doing is measuring the price range from the bottom band here to the current price and it is 11%. Now what's so interesting is we can actually take this up to now the top indicator here, and we can see in this case, it's 13%. So we know that it, there's, it's an 11% 11, 11 away from the top of its band, and from the closing price, it's about 11% away, which is rather interesting because if you look at this chart, what you can now deduce from this is that this might be one of the largest spreads from this, actually, nope, it's been 20% away not too long ago, back in April, oh, well, April 24th, almost a year ago. So now you can start to do this level of analysis and say, well, what happened the last time it was this far away? Actually, at 11%, it looks like it kept going higher. It was actually just the start of the move. Very interesting. So you really have to ask yourself, is this still the start of a specific move? Well, another thing, of course, is this Bollinger Bands. There might have been some event that really sort of expanded the band down here. But nevertheless, this is the precision that you now have, not only with magnet mode, including weak and strong magnet, but the all new snap to indicators feature, which we know traders are just going to absolutely love. Now, keep in mind, this does apply to all of the drawing tools available to you. And I really want to give one more example. So if I go to indicators, and in this case, what I'm going to do is just add a simple moving average. I'm going to double click. I'm going to make this a 100 day moving average. Let's make it based off of the open, high, low, close divided by four. Let's click OK. Let's even double click here. And let's see, change this as well. 
There we go. Well, let's make this line yellow. How about just so we just can't miss it. So now we have this 100 day moving average. Now, as mentioned, this works with all of our drawing tools. So we can use magnet mode, for example, to draw the trend line. So why don't we go ahead and draw the trend line here? Same trend line. Let's connect our points just as we did. Click. Wonderful. Connected. Now what we're going to do is effectively measure now the distance from the moving average here. Click perfectly. Okay. Actually, in this case, if we think it might go down, it was going to make more sense for us to click the starting point and then snap it to the indicator. So it's an eight, seven and a half percent move down. And now, now are you ready for this? Here's, here's how it all comes together. We're going to go ahead and head to our short position tool. I'm going to click again. Now, what we're going to do here with this specific theory or trade or concept or measurement or planning is imagine, for example, gold sort of takes a ride down to this trend line and eventually breaks it. And in this example, we're sort of thinking if it breaks this trend line, it's coming back down to its 100-day moving average. So what we can do now is we can actually go to our short position tool match it up perfectly on this specific price level here that corresponds with our trend line and then visualize what that trade might look like and look at that it even snaps right down here to our moving average as well and now we've set up how the trade could look where's our stop loss let's see here let's actually make our stop loss the the highs here excellent there we go so we've got our stop loss at the highs our take profit right down here when it hits the moving average. Of course, all of these conditions have to happen, but we could also set up the trade in another way as well. If we just think it's even gonna test this trend line, maybe we're thinking too far in advance with that moving average there. So what we could do then is say, well, let's play, for example, a possible short trade just back to the trend line that we've drawn. So let's see, what would that net us? It's about, uh, looks like if it goes, if we were to go straight down, it's about a 3% move. So really not much, we really have to zoom in here. We've got our magnet mode selected. In this case, let's do strong magnet. Let's even turn off indicators because this time we just want to use utilize our magnet mode, snapping to the nearest open, high, low, close. We do short position. We find this candle and click. Here's our trend line. Let's make sure we get this trend line going down. Okay, let's get this to about this point on the trend line. Our stop loss is going to be just at this previous high. So now here's our drawing tool, all based off of the magnet mode, selecting the nearest open, high, low, and close. So if you watch this whole video, you now have a wonderful understanding of this tool, including the different ways to utilize this tool to snap not only to the open high, low, and close, but to indicators as well. That is your updated magnet mode tutorial for 2025. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching.